Well, welcome back, YTPC. Uncle Willie's still out here in the coop. I know, two videos in one day. <laughs> anyway, this video is a VR to Cosmo Cat Dad Piper. <clears throat> First of all, I don't usually do a lot of VRs. And when I do do a VR, usually it's just to answer a question or give an opinion or something in that kind of video response. I don't usually do them for the prize packages, but this is kind of special golf that he is doing. It's his one year anniversary in the YTPC. Congratulations for lasting a year. Some people give up after a while and kudos to the people like you and I and the rest of us that just keep plugging along, not worrying about subscribers or anything, just, just responding to our faithful followers. So, <clears throat> Before I get started, he is giving a prize package away. It's a pipe and tobaccos and a couple really nice tampers. It's gonna be the uh, the Coyote and the Roadrunner. Some of you might remember who those guys are, but really nice looking. But as usual with a VR that includes a prize package, if I am chosen as the winner, please pay it backwards and award it to the person behind me. So if you get, however you do it, if you draw names, whatever list you go by, whoever was behind me in that list, or if you draw numbers, whoever's the next one behind me, please, please send the package out to them so question one is, what is your perfect summertime smoking? It can be your smoking area, your smoking friends, your smoking tobacco, your perfect summertime smoke. Well, for me, it would be spending the afternoon at Boswell's, which I know I typically go there once a week, but Picture it being 95 degrees outside with 100% humidity and you want to smoke a pipe or a cigar and it's just too damn hot. So you think about sitting in a nice cool air conditioned lounge, nice ambiance, you know, good friends, old and new. It could be new acquaintances that you're just sitting there talking and having a good time just talking about everything except politics and religion. I don't like getting into those conversations just because. Um, but I think the perfect summertime atmosphere smoke for me would be like sitting in Boswell's, enjoying a, a nice bottle of ice, of, of water. They supply water and coffee and just having a smoke with some people, friends, and acquaintances, don't have to be friends, because the pipe community and the cigar community is just great. We, we draw friends, we draw people towards us and make friends. That's, that's the great thing about our community. So that would be my summertime situation. Second question is, what tip would you give to a new pipe smoker? Well, in my uh, series of recommendations for new pipe smokers, this was in one of them, and I'm going to go back and touch on that again. For new pipe smokers, I would say do not buy a cob until it's like, until you've smoked. 75 to 100 bowls through a regular pipe 
and you know what you're looking for, you know the flavors and everything about it, then purchase a cob. Don't buy a cob for your first pipe because the break-in period is usually not that pleasant, even for the veteran smokers. I mean, some guys just smoke it and, and power through it because they love cobs. I am not a big cob lover, but I have a handful of them. Today's Cobb Tuesday, I won't be smoking a cob today. I'm actually smoking a Dunhill County Bulldog with some Samuel Galworth 1792 flake. But that's my answers. Don't buy a cob for your first pipe. Wait to and let that be your second or third pipe, probably third or fourth pipe before you buy a cob. So there's my uh, answers to your questions, Cosmo. And again, uh, happy anniversary. And that's about all I got, man. I, my perfect smoking uh, session. And then my uh, tip for new pipe smokers. So with that being said, till next time, you know what to do. Stuff them and puff them.